Hi everyone! Yay! YouTube video! Chris, also known on YouTube as Sergation Nation, tagged me to do the Naramon YouTube survey of 2012, and I figured what better way to come back and make a YouTube video than to fill out the survey. So I just thought I'd come and answer these questions. Yay! Question one. Why are you called that? My name is Rachel. It is not an exciting name. My mom named me after, well, not really after. She knew this girl in high school who was really pretty and nice. She was actually a model. And so she always put the name Rachel with someone who was kind and sweet and pretty. So she named me Rachel. They also thought that at the time it wasn't going to be that popular of a name. They were wrong. So there's a billion Rachels. And that comes to the um, why I spell my name UL instead of EL. For those of you who don't know, I spell my name R-A-C-H-U-L, not E-L or A-E-L. Um, and this is because growing up, I've had so many Rachels in my life that I've always been Rachel G. And I hate being Rachel G. I just want to be Rachel. So some online friends started spelling my name with a U-L, and I thought, that really works because you know that I'm someone different. Um, and I feel like it fits my personality. And plus, when you say Rachel, you're saying chul anyway. You're not saying chell. So I've stuck with Rachel, and it has served me well. As for my username, it comes from a joke from a Caleb Nation video he made in which he um, made a username called Rachel Smachel after me. And I've just used it ever since. So thanks, Caleb. Question number two. Tell us about your favorite school teacher. My first ever favorite teacher was in second grade, Mrs. Flessis, and she was from Greece, and I just fell in love with her and fell in love with Greece, and I've wanted to go ever since. I did school reports on it. I got really into Greek mythology. And I've just always really wanted to go to Greece ever since her. Um, I'm not even sure why I was so in love with her other than she was just one of the sweetest teachers I ever had. Um, so Mrs. Flessis was that. Um, and then in university, I've had so many great teachers, but, um, the one that I think that had the most influence on me was a Professor McNally, who was my creative writing teacher for, um, for several of my classes. He's just brilliant. Um, really interesting, eccentric character. Um, one of my favorite moments will always be when he started uh, singing and dancing to Taylor Swift in class. So he was just brilliant. Question number three. What's the strangest food you've ever eaten? People who know me know that I am quite picky when it comes to food. I eat like five different things and those are the only things I eat or some variation of. Um, so I can't really think of anything super strange I've eaten. There was one time in seventh or no, sixth grade where we had to dissect a squid and soon after we had finished dissecting the squid, they served us calamari, which is fried squid. And I thought that was really weird. I tried it because I'm a team player, but it was disgusting. I don't like seafood and I also thought it was really creepy that we just cut this thing apart and then they serve it to us on a plate. It was not okay with that. Only other thing I could think of off the top of my head that I've eaten that's weird was this thing called critter dip. That's legitimately what it was called. I have no idea what was in it. They wouldn't tell me. They said, Rachel, don't ask what is in this because you won't eat it. So I didn't. It's delicious. I'm pretty sure there was some javelina in it. So, and I'm sure there was other stuff. So that's probably, I don't know what was in it, but I'm sure it had to have been weird if I wasn't allowed to ask. Question number four. Tell us about your first gig. The first really big concert that I remember is NSYNC. When I was little, I loved NSYNC. I was so into NSYNC, but as was every little girl at that time. Um, and I went with my cousin, I'm pretty sure, and I just remember everyone like crying and screaming, and I remember being excited, but I was not into it like that much. But that was the first concert I remember going to. Question number five. What is your favorite place in the world? This is hard for me, but I would say at the moment my favorite place is England because I'm trying desperately to stay here. So if someone want to give me a job in England so I can stay because my student visa is running out rather quickly. Um, I really love England. I'm having such a great time here. I've really grown accustomed to everything. I've made some great friends. Um, I find that what makes places for me is more the people and that's the place. Because you can be in the middle of nowhere, and if you have good people with you, you'll have a great time. So, um, 
England, I would say, is my favorite place at the moment. I also really loved Boston when I visited, and I will always have a special place in my heart for California. And of course, all of the Disneylands, Disneyland, Disney World, all of them. Of course, I've only been to Disneyland in California and Disneyland in Paris, but um, it just feels like home. And the last question is, who do you want to take um, the survey next? Um, first off, I want Yi Chow to fill this out. Um, so Yi Chow, you better make this video. Um, I'd also like to tag all of FTW. I know it's been ages, but um, I think it'd be great to see you guys on YouTube again. So that's all of you, Nicole, Gum, um, even Naffy, um, Kira, Kira, you should do this, um, Seth, Zane, all of you, I want you to do this, even Nikki. Um, if you're still on YouTube, I don't know who's on anymore. Um, and if you're not, you should come back. So, all of you guys. Um, and then, I would like my brother to do this. Um, I doubt he will, but I would love to see him make a video. And, um, there's a text from Dan. So Dan, you should also do this. I know you don't have a YouTube or make YouTube videos, but Daniel, I'm tagging you to answer the survey. Anyway, I had fun answering your questions. I'm really glad you tagged me, Chris. This was fun. Hopefully, I will be making some more videos now that my dissertation is done. I am officially done with school, and now I'm just on the job hunt. So, um, I have more time, which I'm not happy about, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So, um, hopefully I'll see you guys sooner rather than later. Alright, bye!